Welcome to Mikey Sutton's Geek Out City Live. Uh, today is July the 8th. We are here. This is the spot, Geek Out City Live, where we talk all things pop culture, Marvel, DC, everything in between. I am still Abdul. We got Mikey Sutton, Scooper Supreme here today. What's up, Mikey? Good afternoon, everybody. Actually, we uh, we're actually uh, deceiving all of you. It's the Amber Heard Hour. We have a full hour <laughs> of Amber Heard today. We're going to talk about her love career and uh, that and was the mystery box. Reputation and, uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, mystery box. Uh, it's a Kigasi Live edition of Mystery Box. And there you uh, go. There so you we go. have no idea what Mikey has planned today. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. but yeah. really no that. idea. So I'll bring out a full hour to have Amber Heard. So. I tell you, <laughs> hey, you never know. You never know. But that's why you got to get those likes up. I guess get hundred likes. See, see here's my question. Here's my question, Phil. <laughs> is Amber Heard in Our Man? Are they going to team up? Is there a Mara Our Man team up? I mean, I guess it boggles the mind, right? It's, it's Honestly, my, like, that would blow up the Our Man project. Actually, <laughs> if you get Amber Heard, like, hey, I'm about the just the business <laughs> side of it, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but appreciate everyone. Uh, shout out to everybody in the chat checking us out. The members, Mikey, we're building up so many members, Mikey. Awesome, uh, awesome. I, I'm going to say, and again, me and Mikey, you know, you know, we, you know, we we, we get, can get a little busy sometimes, but we do need to get this members only uh, video that we've been talking about. I'm going to say, Mikey, it'll be up by Monday because I think I'm yeah. going to catch up with you Sunday. To get it recorded, right? So, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. You guys, you uh, first know the Mera Our Man team up. Mm. Our Man team up. The members will know this first, right? Amber Verse, as, as I tell people on uh, <laughs> on social media about that. But no, but how how are you doing right now, Mikey? Uh, has uh, yes, the temperature kind of got yeah, normal? Temperature is good. I, I took some B12 right before the show, so it'll probably hit me like 30 minutes into the series. Into the show, so. <laughs> awesome, <laughs> awesome. But uh, uh, we're gonna have some Rogues Gallery bourbon. Do we got a trademark that Rogues Gallery <laughs> bourbon? Always. They have always. me and you on the, on the, on the label there. So let's get. <laughs> I'm sure like someone will, will have some kind of rendition of that, right? Uh, really soon. So, <laughs> but definitely get those likes up because I, I'm sure Mikey has a lot of Amber. Oh, yeah, get the likes up 100 he, likes, please. He, he can bring a lot of Amber Heard out for y'all today, but, but let's uh, let's start on a happier note, right? Let's get wow. into it. Yeah. <laughs> so, That's... today, right? Um, uh, Marvel's What If, right? I think uh, I, and I'm sure many people is like, okay, yeah. after Loki is over mm -hmm. you know, next week, it's like, what's the next, you know, Miss Marvel is like uh, in the fall. Yeah. Hawkeye, like, so I'm like, what's next, right? Mm -hmm. What If, right? That's what was uh, uh, announced today, Mikey. What were we thinking about that uh, with this uh, this announcement? Right? Man, that trailer blew me away. I just got to say that, um, you know, here's the thing. When I first announced What If, um, I'm not a big animation fan. The problem I have with animation is that um, I got into anime like over 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, in fact, a little history here. If you're familiar with the legendary Sakura Con convention in Seattle, my friends created that convention in 98. In fact, um, I, I had the original name for it. It was originally called BakaCon. That, that was I oh. named I named the original SakuraCon. Really? Um, yeah, but they had one BakaCon, but the Japanese guests didn't like the name. See, Baka means idiot in in, in Japan. Um, this is, we think that I thought it was hilarious because they say Baka a lot when you're watching anime. <laughs> Baka, you know, you you, you you fool, right? Well, the right. Japanese guests took it literally that they were being called idiots. Oh. And they didn't get the humor <laughs> of it. Right. So they called it SakuraCon. That's how it all started. Mm. But That makes um, sense, though. Yeah. It's, so it's, it's the San Diego Comic Con of anime conventions in, in the U.S. It's massive. Um, but back in 98, my, uh, my college buddy, Rick Wall, came back from Hawaii, and he told me, hey, you know, I want to start an anime convention. Like, mm -hmm. Really? And then that's how Cybercon kind of started with a phone call to me. And so I have my hands in a little bit of history of everything here. But anyway, <laughs> I'm biased towards anime because the animation is 
mostly beautiful. Dude, this is Japan. nuts right here. This yeah, is nuts. I mean, I, I can't yeah. watch American animation because it just looks poor in comparison, right? So when I heard about What If, I'm like, eh, okay, American animation. Then I start seeing footage, right? I'm like, whoa, <laughs> okay. So this trailer blew me away. Yes. This is like, holy crap, this looks freaking <laughs> awesome. So I showed a little, just a little start yeah. of it because, yeah. you know, you know, I'm on edge lately, Mikey, right? They got me for the flash leak. Yeah. on youtube so i gotta be really scarce oh, of course yeah, you but, uh, that. <laughs> but with uh that first shot right there was yeah. tony stark uh how iron man you know the original iron man film yeah. start yeah and instead of the missile you know the, the starks industry missile door shrapnel to tony he's yeah. saved by killmonger is he a wild he was set up to be a, a, a military person himself, but he happened to be on that mission to save Tony Stark. Yeah. Uh, the, the the possibilities are endless now. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like, yeah, what literally. can they do with this? Um, I'm excited. Uh, Jeffrey Wright, obviously, is the, the person uh, voicing the yeah. Watcher. I, it's like, I'm all on board with this, Mikey. Uh, and you know, like, yeah. I tell you, it's Kevin Feige just, just dropping the mic again and walking away. It's like, <laughs> oh, you think you've seen animation? Now wait till I produce animation. I'm like, okay, dude, just, you know. <laughs> this, is nuts. this is nuts, right? And like, so you got, again, the um, the Killmonger angle, and then it was also the, the, the Carter, Agent oh, Carter. Yeah, yeah um, Kevin Carter. My I mean, goodness. And that's trending is, right now on, on just to let people know what if and Captain Carter is trending. On Twitter right now. Yeah, this <laughs> might be my and this might end up being my favorite MCU show. It's so <laughs> unpredictable, right? And it's just so crazy and fresh. Um, and I love growing up. I love the What If comic book. I used to buy it every other month. I think it's a quarterly publication. Um, yeah. Love the love the love the book. And for those who aren't familiar, I'm not sure um, if they're going to keep the same tone. Mm -hmm. The comic book What If. They always ended up with a with unhappy endings. They're always yeah. Sad. It looks like the worst scenario. <laughs> yeah, worst scenario, right? So brace yourselves if they keep yeah. it that way, and all well, the endings are really dumb. Be so. So that's yeah, like what you just said right there, Mikey. Like that yeah. angle. Like yeah. maybe people are not ready, and I'm I'm, I'm going to trust Feige with this. Is that he yeah. may take this a darker tone? It's a darker that people, tone. Yeah. You know, aren't ready for. Yeah. Um. So you may see a switch. And again, it's all about that one question, right? What if this happened instead of, yep. you know, what you was used to in, in, in canon, right? So we'll take the, the Tony Killmonger angle. You know, it may not be a good ending for Tony Stark in that story, yeah. right? <laughs> like, yeah, you might not. You know, you know what? So it probably won't be. <laughs> it probably won't be. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, well, yeah, what if it's basically saying, aren't you glad this didn't happen? <laughs> right, yeah. Exactly, because I, I I remember one what if Mikey, you might remember this like years back. Yeah. I think they really like pumped this story up too. But like it was the uh, Wolverine versus Hulk. Uh, what if Hulk killed Wolverine? Yeah, he killed. Yeah, I still have that book too. Yeah, yeah and it had like yeah, a that was Hulk's cover. It yeah. was like an awesome. Yeah, yeah, I remember. Yeah, I mean, Hulk was right? dead on the cover, man. Wolverine had yeah. claws, you know, such down. The Hulk killed Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, in the what if story, and then it was the ramifications of that afterwards like i'm excited for this i think yeah i mean if we're guessing mikey if we're just gonna guess we'll say like i i it, they may carry over some of the dark takes but mm -hmm. they may smooth it out a little bit because you got the um you got chad with bozeman yeah final like voiceover for man uh, that's gonna be for yeah. T'Challa. like that's very gonna be moving to see that yeah yeah um where like basically he becomes kind of like the star lord uh, Guardians. Um, I saw another poster, Mikey. If you can uh, let me know, you know, you can probably know yeah. more about this. But instead of the Avengers, what if story, it'll be like, what if like the Guardians are the Avengers in the sense? And you have mm -hmm. Kala, you have Captain Carter, you have all these different characters in there. That's um, been crazy. They can go wild with this. <laughs> you know what? Here's a brilliant part about all this. You know, Loki just set this up. All the various, exactly. they, they set it up. I mean, like, my god, you know, these people <laughs> are just like in a room, like brainstorming, like every day, like, hey, where do we put this in here? And then, and then 
five movies from now, this will happen, right? <laughs> <laughs> that was a good segue, Mikey. That's how, how in tune me and Mikey are. Because I knew he was going to say Loki at some point in this conversation. Yeah, yeah. Because that's, that's literally yeah. what set up these possibilities, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, what does. if it's a multiverse? Loki really introduced that to, to the MCU, right? Yeah, you know, spoiler alert, that ending – that that's it's Kang, all right. Kang is coming. I mean, oh, I, my God. I, I don't think there's some kind of a fish though deception here. I can't see <laughs> where <laughs> else this show is going except for Kang. That's Carnopolis. That, 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 that's that's yes, that's Kang's castle thing, you know. So, you sent me pictures of that, right, Mike? Yeah, because, um, because like I told you from the beginning, like I'm I'm real heavy DC. Real scarce Marvel, yeah, right? And yeah. so when you showed me, I was like, "Oh, I was like, I got researches, right?" And yeah. I was like, "Oh shit!" Like this, Kang is coming to Loki Kang is next coming. week. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah. no doubt. The, the, there is. I had a weird thought the other day. Like, what if the person in there is a Loki variant? Loki, Loki variant has been doing this the whole time. That mm. would be hilarious. But I think with 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 Kang showing up in Ant Man. They're going to set it up. That has to be Kang in there. That makes sense, right? That um, before we see Kang and Ant Man, yeah, to kind of set up his story, yeah, you know, because it's a through line, right? That's what Feige's been doing, right? Setting yeah. up a through line of these characters. Yeah, I wouldn't uh, be shocked, Phil, if that's a Kang variant in there, and the mm -hmm. Kang variant looks like Owen Wilson. Yeah, 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 and we're going to revisit that, Mike. Yeah. We're going we're gonna, to, yeah, after just next say, week, I'm going to book, bookmark that. What Mike yeah. said, it's a larger story. I wish it was that. Dr. Doom. I wish. TJ said to the Super Chat, what if it's Dr. Doom? I think it's Kang. I think there's so many um, nods to Kang in this Loki story, yeah. this multiverse story. Like, it, it's, yeah. Uh, and I, like I said, shout out to. Uh, the Loki again, Michael Waldron, who who wrote the Loki oh, series, yeah. he's writing Doctor Strange, yeah. Multiverse of Madness, very per perfectly. Yeah, uh, he's writing Kevin Feige Star Wars movies, so. yes, as well. Okay. So, if this you is think this is nuts, you just gotta wonder. This yeah. guy is gonna be on fire. Uh, what he does uh shout well. out to Paolo in Iceland. Um, Big fan of your music scene there. Uh. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so, so with Loki, because I know you brought up Loki not only just yeah. to hint of the okay. Okay, There's a rumor Loki. going around, so there's a theory mm -hmm. that it's Nathaniel Richards in, in that castle. Nathaniel Richards, I believe, is the father of Reed Richards. Um, oh, cool. Now, oh, look, if uh, Nathaniel <laughs> Richards is in that. Look, the internet's gonna burn down. Okay, <laughs> if Mister Fantastic's dad is in that castle, they're gonna blow up the internet. That that is Mandalorian Luke Skywalker badass. Dude, that <laughs> man. Next week, like first off, I mean this. Lo okay, this Loki series just in general. Yeah. I remember when the first episode came out, yeah. and Mikey messaged me that first night. You said, "You said, oh shit, the first five minutes yeah. they established Secret Wars." <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's just it's like. Yeah, it's, it's kind of funny. It's like it's like what I do to you, right? Like all of a sudden I shock you all of a sudden, like like casually, like oh by the way, oh, like, oh, by the way, Secret Wars, you know, like first five minutes Secret Wars, you drop it right there. Like, oh like, my god, are you serious? You know, I was not so, ready. Like I, you know, I have video evidence that I wasn't really like hyping up this local <laughs> series. I was like, well, I was like, uh, you know, I'm really more psyched for the One Division. Yeah. Talking words up, but like Loki and Feige said this right. He warned us, Mikey. Yeah, said, this Loki series is the one. It's the one going to push his face forward. So. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Secret Wars. <laughs> the first five minutes, like no messing around. All Secret Wars. Like, what? We got we got Bimmer Bat Dan. Like, are we going to get a Ralph Ralph Boner moment, yeah, Mikey? Like we all yeah. wanted to last. <laughs> There's always right. that, right? There's always that fear. Because <laughs> because I was thinking that everybody is expecting Kang right now. Yeah. And what if, the person, <laughs> <Ralph Porter. laughs> yeah, what if the person doing all this is like it's a, it's a Loki variant? I think that would, I don't think that would really mess people up, you know. But, I think hmm. having the older Loki this last, and again, we're, yeah. we're going full spoilers, yeah. right? I think yeah. people they had enough chance to watch this. I'm sorry if you're a fan of Loki, you saw it already, right? Yeah, so yeah, you had, yeah. The, you had the older yeah, Loki, yeah, right? Yeah. Which I think, uh, the Tom Hiddleston, uh, Loki. 
he identified with this older Loki as kind of like what he would have been yeah, if Thanos exactly. didn't kill him. Right. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. So he was like, "This is like my end game." And he was yeah. pretty powerful too. Which yeah, I thought he was, was really cool. Yeah. You know, uh, and into that character, you know, glorious purpose, as he says before he dies. Right. Um, so I think now is looking forward to just they haven't kind of failed us up to this point with this Loki series. So they got to go yeah. all the way with this final episode, yeah. uh, in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. I really, I guess, I just got this feeling still that um, it's it's a Loki, like I'm not a Loki, but a Kang variant. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be Jonathan Majors. He said he's not going to be on the show. Right. Unless he's lying or whatever. Uh, but, <laughs> he, you know, um, I got a feeling that it's a uh, Kang variant that looks like Mobius. That's, that's just my theory. Yeah. I mean, because you, you got to think, just watching a series or a film or whatever, why is Mobius, like, so important to this series, right? Yeah, exactly. exactly. It's like they sent him to the void. He was able to escape the void because yeah. he could have died right there. You could have got rid of the Mobius character yeah, right there, but yeah. he has more importance. And he survived. He's going back to the TVA. Like what's gonna happen there? Like shit's going down there at the TBA. But uh but now the Kang obvious setup, I think there's some connection with him and Mobius. And hey, maybe we'll see a, a version of Jonathan Majors as well. Maybe yeah. so. Well, we saw well, him, well, Owen you know, Wilson is Kang this whole time, and all of a sudden he just wants to take him to his home, right? <laughs> that's gonna be a crazy. I'm just saying, it's Mikey. Like, hey, if, 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 there's a twist coming. There's gotta be a twist coming. If that happens, Mikey, that's gonna be a crazy video. Me and you are gonna do. Yeah, right? exactly. We're gonna do one because look, I know my 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 Kang scoop flows only only yes. Wilson. I have one episode left, right? <laughs> so be Kang, so, dude. Be Kang in some way. Yeah. I thought it was gonna happen this week. I was gonna message Mikey like, yeah, it, 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 no, it's late um, but I was okay next week. Okay, TJ uh, has a question there. <laughs> yeah, so when Nathaniel Richards is black, does it mean Re is black? It's a legitimate question in regards to Fantastic yeah. Four. Uh, there's been, and real quick, Mikey, there's yeah. been talks about they may do a diverse Fantastic Four, but kind of mm. like the Josh Crank. I haven't heard any like concrete no. news on that. No. And, and Mikey, you know my sources focus, with that. Focus. Yeah, I haven't heard anything focus. with that, right? Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you're thinking like it, it may not be okay. that way that, no, that they're going with that. Um, there is a theory that this Kang is Nathaniel Richards. There's so many different Kangs, right? Um, mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to be Nathaniel um, only because why would they introduce him before Reed Richards? It, it has no impact on the regular audience. I mean, mm -hmm. for, for fanboys, oh yeah, how cool. But the audience would be like, huh? Who? What? Exactly. You know? Like, what? Like, yeah. yeah. That makes no sense. I just got to educate like, them. Yeah, you're going to put yeah. Reed's dad before Reed. Man, that's, that's, that's reaching. That's reaching. Uh, and so I think it's just, I think it'll be Ramatut. I think Jonathan Majors mm. is Ramatut. And oh. the Egyptian Kang. And um, I, th I think that's how they're going to play it off. He said he's not going to be in Loki. So he, either he's. Saying an NDA <laughs> can't say it. I right. tend to believe him. I, I think they really are going to see him for Ant Man. I, I think, think we're, so. like, we're going to see Kang, but it'll be a variant of Kang, I, I believe. It will be some kind of setup in this setup. series, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah, we're kind of thinking. So, by maybe the way, we'll I just be majors. Mention, uh, mm -hmm. the Thanos copter was uh, appeared in the first couple of minutes of the, of the latest episode. The Thanos copter from the comic book. Spidey mm -hmm. Super Stories. Um, shout out to my late friend David Anthony Kraft. He created the Thanos copter. Oh um, wow! His creation. He passed away a few months ago before he was able to see this, and I'm really sad that um, that was a scoop I wasn't able to get to tell him before he died. At least, um, mm -hmm. I think he died of COVID-19. Um, but Dak, wherever you are in heaven, I hope. You had a screening of this, and you saw your creation um, on Loki. Because that, that was a brilliant uh, mm -hmm. Easter egg. I mean, this this episode is filled with Easter egg. Yeah, you had oh the frog Thor in there jumping around in that in that in that jar. That was hilarious. 
what well, like you said though, Mike, like that first couple minutes of this of this episode, yeah. Because I made the mistake, right? I'm on the I'm on the Eastern Standard Time, right, Mike? Yeah. So it was <laughs> it was past three a.m. I yeah, went yeah. finally, <laughs> you know. I woke up actually. I woke up at three a.m. and then I started <laughs> to get into the show, right? So I was like, I wasn't catching everything the first run, right? Yeah. But it's so many Easter eggs. The very first one minute or two, yeah, of this episode that people may oh, have missed, that's setting up, yeah, like what's <laughs> what they're teasing. You know, yeah. going forward. So, uh, man, this is this has been the best like execution of 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 uh, MCU on Disney Plus. Yeah, I think they've they've run wild. I think there's oh, yeah. warming up with One Division, and they kept the conversation going. Falcon and Winter Soldier, but this series, like like Fight, he said before we saw it, he said this is the one. <laughs> well, you know, you know what I'm hearing still is that um, for Disney Plus. We're going to see the darker side of the MCU. And again, it has to do with the streaming audience being different from the theatrical audience. I think people at home um, are more, let's say, enthusiastic or attracted to darker fare, mm-hmm. which is why Zack Snyder does so well on streaming. Mm-hmm. Um, and so I think we're going to see more more darker edge shows um, like what moon night moon night's gonna be dark so <laughs> yeah <laughs> what if it's gonna be dark as fun uh, people are not ready for that what if series i'm just what is gonna get you know i'm saying <laughs> brace yourselves brace yourselves uh, so looking forward to the next look i can't wait yeah yeah that's gonna be awesome and, and, and kid loki before we move from the loki yeah. kid loki was really prominent in this episode yeah. Um, it looks like that character survived the end of this episode. And um, what's going to become of this kid Loki? Like, is it just going to do a perfectly cast kid Loki and let, let him go away in the yeah. void? Or what do you think they're going to do with kid Loki, Mikey? Yeah, I, well, I, I think we're, we're going to see more of kid Loki. I mean, they're, they're going to do more Loki seasons. So this, is, this isn't an end. That's end what I heard. Week. So that's, that's so, real. Yeah, there's going to go. be more Kid Loki. Mm. Um, I love the fact that he's he's drinking a, a, a high C. Cup. A high C. Why everybody's drinking water? There's going to be high like C's in the void now. I, mean, you know. I like that. <laughs> Kid yeah, Loki Young Avengers. Avengers as Reese yeah. says. Yeah. yeah, they're setting it up. I think, yeah, you're going to see a lot of Kid So like TJ said, Kid Loki killed Kid Thor. So he's a little grimy, <laughs> he's a little, <laughs> little, little, little grimy, because they made sure they made sure that dialogue got across, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Because Loki was like trying to figure out all these other characters. Like, okay, this is, old Loki is like the future me. Kid Loki is if if Loki killed Thor. Yeah. You know, then you had this what other alternate Loki. What Kid Loki you know? killed Thor. The, was that one of the best scenes, uh, Mikey, when <laughs> all the Lokis came down there, right? Oh, that was they, brilliant. They all betrayed each other. I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. That was, you know, <laughs> the alligator Loki should have his own show, okay? I mean, it's, uh, <laughs> watch, that I is think, one of the funniest things. I think he's going to be with Kid Loki. I think once we Kid Loki. The president's Loki's hand off. And I was rolling. <laughs> he's jumping off, man. <laughs> We're going to get yeah, look, he, he chopped the hand off. I was like, oh, and then he went to Kid Loki. I was like, oh, yeah. when we see Kid Loki, we're going to see the alligator Loki. I, I believe <laughs> yeah, that a hundred percent. Give him a show, give him a show. I watch yeah, it. yeah, yeah. Or just put him with just get, put him with Kid Loki. That's a good sidekick. Good sidekick. There. So, hey, like I said, Loki is solid. And, and to kind of round the Marvel conversation before we get our, um, yeah, we're going to so, have a yeah, guess, mystery box as well after this, but go ahead. Yeah. Ironheart, okay, so we ran a uh, scoop from another site. I think it was Giant Freaking Robot that had the um, the, the scoop. And, uh, Robert Downey Jr. is coming back on Ironheart as an AI. He's the voice of Tony Stark. Um, so when I ran the story, I mean, it's not my scoop, but I ran it from Giant Freaking Robot. I ran it before I could investigate myself. Um, but you know they they run some good scoops in the past, so they they support Geekosity. They've heard a miss, just like you know most. Scoops yeah, exactly. They're, they're heard a miss. Yeah. Yeah, and so um, since I the article was published, I did some investigating, and so <clears throat> apparently they did reach out to REJ about voicing Tony Stark, mm-hmm. um, and apparently he was in agreement with it. I'm not sure if a deal was signed. 
if they actually went through. But he liked the idea of voicing Tony Stark's AI and Ironheart. Right. And so my feeling is this. I don't have any confirmation. My mm-hmm. feeling is that Robert Downey Jr. will be the AI. Tony Stark and Ironheart. I'm that would pretty be nuts. much I'm convinced of it. I think yeah. again it's one of those internet breaking things that Bobby <laughs> likes to do. Uh, I think People will just lose their shit, man. Just, just like, to hear his wouldn't, voice. wouldn't that sell the show, Mikey? Because yeah, I'm just totally, gonna say, I'm, totally. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tap into my my inner Tivo with yeah. the Ironheart. That series, I mean, it's it's comic book precedence, right? Of having Riri taking over the Iron Man ar- armor, right? And she's smart enough to, you know, kind of uh, calibrate the armor. Um, yeah. In that comic, you know, Tony Stark was the AI. You know, yeah. so it's precedence there, right? But if you're gonna yeah. do this series, wouldn't it be smart to do Robert Downey Jr. as AI? Oh. Like, wouldn't that sell it? Dude, that would more than sell. That would break yeah. Disney Plus. He couldn't like, he couldn't like, you know, cl- uh, <laughs> watch the stream for a half hour. Everybody's like trying to get on it, right? So didn't Endgame set that up? My innocence. Yeah, right? they did. Yeah, they did. So it showed it showed Robert Downey Jr. in in AI form. You know, I love you three thousand. Yeah. Everyone knows that line. Yeah, in AI, right? Yeah. So that was sell the whole show. It'll be the show will be huge just because of that. You know, what I yeah. Because that comment so, didn't do that well. Yeah, I'm just yeah. gonna be quite honest with people. Like Ironheart, I'm surprised he did a series unless you got Robert Downey Jr. to to voice over. That's I want to say only. hello to a uh, Geekosity contributor and a good friend of mine, Claude Ambion uh, in the Philippines. He's watching right now. So hello. Hello, What's Claude. Up? And um, all right, so we get to the uh, MCU mystery box. So we're gonna get to the mystery box before we do that, real quick. Uh, TJ yeah. with the two dollar Canadian super chat, Frog Thor with the hammer. That was that was brilliant. <laughs> well, I hope Walter Simonson, the creator, saw that and was ecstatic about it because I would never imagine that the Frog Thor showing up. <laughs> So let's uh interest. Let let's get because what what people gotta realize when Mikey Sutton deems a day mystery box, you know, whatever day it is, <laughs> it's more than one mystery box, right? So right now, just looking at the chat, we're at about close to 70 likes to unlock the hundred likes mystery box. But before we get to that point, yeah, Mikey has a MCE mystery box to to give to you all uh here oh, early. Yeah. So Oh yeah, here we go. So what is going on here, Mikey? Like we talked about a lot, and but like you still have a mystery uh right now with MCU. So you mentioned Secret Wars earlier, so and you just gave me the perfect segue without realizing <laughs> it. Our mystery right. box That's today right. is Secret Wars. Oh, and this is a Scoop debut exclusive oh, to the mystery box. You know, if I'm going to bring the goods, I'm not going <laughs> to hype it up and give you guys hot air, okay? I mean, it's, exactly. Uh, they should know by now. Yeah. Yeah, a mystery box, <laughs> Mephisto will show up, okay? And Ralph Boner is Quicksilver on mystery box. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> I just think it, symbolically speaking, okay? All symbolically right. speaking. <laughs> I'm not gonna give you guys a bag of goods. Um, so, Secret <laughs> Wars. The Avengers will fight variants. And this is something I scooped before I knew there were variants. I didn't call them variants at the time. I called them alternate parallel universe versions. Because we didn't know yet, right? We didn't know yet. We know what they were. Right. When I had the Secret Wars scoop a year and a half ago, I said they're alternate versions of the heroes. I had no idea what they were. That's what I was just, I was just told. Like, oh, now it makes Ooh. sense. They're variants. Okay. Right. You have a name so, to it now. Right. Right. Chris Evans is returning. Okay. Very. It, it, it makes so much <laughs> sense now, right? See, Mikey put out the, the Secret War story. What was yeah. this? Uh, early this year? Or late last yeah, year? Yeah. 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 But early this like, year. And then. Like alternate. But, but before that, on YouTube, I, I my, my initial Secret Wars. I think it was in 2019 when I had my initial Secret Wars. Oh, my goodness. That, and, but it was very, very, <laughs> not many details. Then earlier this year, I had a more detailed scoop of 
of them fighting their you know alternate versions or whatever um so chris evans will be in secret wars as captain hydra oh my god so oh so uh don't call me wave called it captain Hydra. that's com that, that's comic book precedence yeah as well with that yeah hydra cap is coming hydra cap is coming in secret wars oh my no. god yeah so <laughs> that's nuts that's nuts so like, you're gonna yeah. see you're gonna see anthony mackie's captain america fighting captain hydra so you're gonna see a chris evans anthony mm. mackie battle on battle worlds um of course being uh overseen by god emperor doom so oh my goodness <laughs> so <laughs> These are these specifics that we that we that hit us hard, right? Mikey's clean, right? I mean, we already know we got the the Sam Wilson cap that's been set up. Uh, he's going to fight a Hydra cap. Yeah. Chris yeah. Evans is coming back. Yeah, uh, it seems like to be in that form uh, now. Like, like Batman says here, they may freak it a little bit. It may not be exactly like the yeah. comic version. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. to, uh, to re respond to Bad Dan here, you're supposed to hate him. <laughs> I mean, it's, he's a villain. Yeah. He's actually a villain in this film. So, oh wow, wow. So, and I think when Chris Evans coming back, he he wants to kind of do something different. I yeah, think it's gonna be hides, different. Yeah. 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 So, so you're gonna be forced uh, to not like Chris Evans. It. Yeah. Exactly. This is yeah, nuts. Let me, let, me, let me drop the mic right now. Boop. Got the mic. I'm this walk is away. nuts. I have another one coming. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so now this was yeah. Hundred likes, people. Hundred likes to get the yeah. DC. We got hey, we got another yeah. It's like because people people should know Mikey by this time <laughs> on this channel. Are we just we're gonna give you everything right? Like it's not just you know Marvel, not just DC. Like it's gonna yeah. be you know. So when Mikey says mystery box day, like we're talking about multiple mystery yeah. boxes. So. Yeah. Uh, we only have 70 likes right now. So let's get that 100 Jamie, likes. Come on, man. Bring it up. Bring it up. Because we could do some Amber Heard and we can do some. Uh... <laughs> Hit the like button. <laughs> but until then, Hit let's. Uh, the we do have a guest today, Mikey. Let's get. Of course. Um, our guest as we transition from the MC Cinematic Universe. All right. Uh, Dan's Toy Box himself, someone I've been very privileged to meet. On Facebook, right? Oh, it's King. It's okay. King. Oh my God. Spoiler <laughs> alert! Spoiler alert! Dead is King. This whole time. Dead hey, uh, hey, I It was been a pleasure to meet you on Facebook, and you are a contributor to Geekosity as well. Uh, is that right? Box, my favorite section. Awesome, awesome. So, just introduce yourself to the to the audience, Dan. What you do, and uh, that insane collection that you have. <laughs> oh, guys, I um. Well, as as Sel and Mikey said, I'm the the toy editor for GeekosityMag.com. Uh, cracking out reviews left and right. Although I got to admit, I was a little bit of a slacker this past weekend. Had a lot of stuff going on, so the Bucky <laughs> and the Sam Wilson cap reviews uh, they're on their way. Um, but you got enough stuff to publish. You know, we got. Oh yeah, uh, love your stuff, man. Thanks, brother. We got the great White Vision uh, review that's wow. up there. Nope. I saw that Baron Zemo just dropped. You know, we'll get Wanda in her new screen accurate. Look at that. Quote unquote costume up there. That's a dope suit, too. I like the new suit they gave her. It's like, oh, yeah. It's great. <laughs> oh, I, I love it. It's, you know, and I mean, and even with the figure, uh, Hasbro is really, really stepping up their game with these new legends that they're putting out. You know, you're getting some figures that are coming out that. These are import quality figures. I mean, we're seeing in, uh, you know, in the newer waves, you're starting to see that double ball peg necks where you're getting more movement in the figure's neck like you would out of a Moffex or a, an SH figure arts. We're getting these great butterfly joints in the shoulders, you know. So, so we're really starting to see a lot of really good stuff coming from Legends. I mean, awesome. some of the paint apps still need some work. Some of them are fantastic. You know, but speaking of imports, I... I just broke down and snapped up the uh, Infinity War Battle on that's, Titan edition. Oh my God. That's, that's right. I got to blow that we up. Were that's Siegel, nuts he right there. He was going to want that. That <laughs> is nuts right there, right? Damn, uh, look at that. That looks awesome. Yeah. This figure. Uh, this figure is <laughs> dope. I love it. I, I'm going to actually 
I'm actually thinking, Mikey, that I might draft a review on this one before I do Bucky and uh, and Sam, even though I wanted to get that Disney Plus wave done for you. Yeah. My only real major gripe, oh, hell, I'll do a quick review right now. My only real, real <laughs> major gripe is his ankles are awful. There's, yeah, those, there's, those ankles, you told us earlier, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's like very little movement. <laughs> he's, got, he's got like this little midgety, pudgety kind of toe articulation, but... There's no, there's no rotation at the ankle, uh, you know, I mean, you can see I'm bending the knee trying to move it. Right. So getting him to stand is crazy, but the cape, the cape is awesome. You got a wire all the way around Damn. and oh, you got a hinge under the cape. At first I saw that and I'm like, what the heck? That is cape porn right there. I'm telling you, man, <laughs> you know, if cape I were going to wear a cape, it would be like this. <laughs> that's awesome that's but pretty the, cool. uh, the accessories that come with this guy are just sick I mean I've got I don't know I've got probably maybe 10 or 11 imports between Mafex and, and SH Figure Arts by far this Doctor Strange has the greatest freaking variety that mm -hmm. you could ask for I mean what is up? You know, and real quick, Dan, be able to as, see because I got as, as, you, as you open that, Dan, the, uh, as uh, someone asked, that cape stays up, right? That wire work in that cape, that yes, cape it does. Up, right? That's what's yeah. amazing about it, yeah. So, That's there's all dope. the accessories. Yeah. Oh, and you know, when I need to make my exit later, I'll I'll be busting through <laughs> that. So, so, Dan, how much is that? Uh, I actually found him, <laughs> believe it or not, I got him on Amazon, yeah, for. Eighty dollars. He was on. He was marked down. Your typical import pricing. You're looking anywhere from ninety five on up. Um, but I did get. Uh, I did get Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange for eighty five. You know, I got a bunch of stuff that's on pre order that I'm waiting on. Um, Mafex is putting out their Dark Knight Returns line, so I've got the two pack of mm -hmm. Batman Harry Kelly on on uh, pre order. They're doing a Superman from the Dark Knight line. That's going to be coming Ooh. out this March. Of course, the problem with Mafex is they Freaking say, awesome. you know, April, May, and it turns into August, September. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah, to answer you that those question are big boy the, toys there. <laughs> about the, uh, the cape. For the cape. Cape porn. It does, here's it does going. stay up. Look at that. Wow. The cape, the I mean, cape that's stays just, up. You know, the great part is with all the wires in it, you can get some really funky dynamics. That's what I'm saying. I almost set him up and have the cape just flapping the whole time. You can like. go, you can go <laughs> as well, of course, with Steve Ditko moves with that cape, man. Right. The only problem with him. He's got like this green stuff in his hair, like this green paint sheen. Kind of looks like Dr. Shart, not Dr. Strange. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't even know if I can say that on, on here. Just, no, you can't. You can say everything. Uh, uh, shout <laughs> out to the Socks. Uh, Mikey, you know Socks. He's on yeah, very active yeah, on hey, Facebook and Twitter now, too. So uh, appreciate him coming through. As well, any any other uh, particular items you want to show us, Dan? As we oh my gosh, you know it was kind of funny this, because this we're is talking your time, and you're like, grab some of your favorite figures. Well, th the problem is, <laughs> I can't just I can't pick. You can't just keep <laughs> going, right? So, like, so maybe ship. we'll do a little we'll do a little toy porn for everybody yeah, watching. If y'all are, if you are all, are, we'll take a little tour around the Geek Tower. Give us now, give us an IMAX and IMAX portrait of your toys there. You know, yeah. so when my younger son moved out, I moved into his bedroom. So now I'm up in the <laughs> upstairs corner. So I had to rename it the Geek Tower. But I was telling the guys earlier, Graham Nolan did that pencil wow. years ago Original. when I owned my sports yeah, card and comic book yes. shop. And then I saw him and got the uh, and got the uh, the Dude. litho there. So on the left, Dan, that's an iconic Batman Bane snapping. Yeah, Batman breaks the back. Yes, Graham sir. Drew that for you. Yep. We uh That's I used to have a sports card comic book shop, and every year we would do an annual art contest for our customers. And Graham only lives an hour away from me in, in East Aurora in New York. So we got him to come down and, and be our celebrity judge. And he did that pencil sketch for me back in 98. So I've had that puppy for a long time. But oh man, 20, 23 years that now. Is, that, that's right after the comic came out. That's nuts. Yeah. 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 And then my wife, I actually had these framed individually. My wife surprised me by getting them matted together. And this was hanging in my office at my job. Oh, and then once I moved up here to the to the Geek Tower, it had to come home. But, you know, just a little figure <laughs> for everybody. I'm 
Oh, yes. Yeah, so let's give it, sure yeah. we'll give it to him. Give it to There's my legends. My Some of my DC stuff's in there. Oh, my God. They're not ready. Yeah. It, it's, it's nuts because I have no idea where I'm going to put DC stuff, Bruce you know? Marvel. Again. Yeah. <laughs> we move Official. over here. <laughs> this is my um. This is my midlife crisis car. Once I decide to have a midlife crisis, I'm going to get an '82 Trans Am and trick him out like Kit, you know. <laughs> yeah, hit the like button, guys. If you like dance toys, hit That's the like button. That's that collection life right here, y'all. Had to had to go into some classic Batman. You know, got my '66s. You and guys get on the Geekosity website. You can check out my reviews on these retro yep. Mego yeah. style. Look figures. at that car. Yeah, look at that dance car. Toy box. Got a lot of reviews in right. there. Look at the Batmobile. That- that's 66 uh, Batmobile, right? Yes, Damn. sir. Now, I'll show you guys something. I lucked out. Only four of the figures that were down here did I have from my original collection as a child. <laughs> I had a uh, an individual reach out to me telling me about a bunch of their son's toys from the 70s and 80s that they still had. <laughs> so I went over. I helped them price everything out. They let me pick a few things that I wanted. So we got us oh, dude. some original superpowers. Look at this. Wow. Got the legs in the suit. No. I'll Ooh. tell you, there are days, you know, when I just look at myself and go, dang, I'm spoiled. <laughs> <laughs> <Dude. laughs> got to have a little bit of Transformer stuff in here. Got, oh, got yeah. oh, yeah. Oh, you, know? yeah. you got Indy right there. Yes, sir. It took me <laughs> five years boy. to pull the trigger on buying that Indiana Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I remember those, those Ninja Turtle uh, figurines. I remember those, like, vividly. <laughs> I Dan's, had a couple of those. Dan's yeah. room is, is geekosity, man. Seriously, that's everything we this cover is, awesome. is in this room. Exactly. Wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That we, is uh, wild. we don't joke around when we advertise that we cover pop culture and all that jazz. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, no, you, yeah, you saw the ninja. I remember I had a couple of those toys. I lost them, but he has them. <laughs> well, I have a, I have a shocker for Sill, and it's related to Dan. So okay. perfect timing here. So. Yeah. I've known Dan since about 2014 um, or so. Mm-hmm. Um, when I think it was a Civil War scoop that we, uh, I, he found me, uh, and I sent him a friend request. Now, in 2015, I started a secret Facebook group where after I dropped the Mar- the Disney Fox um, scoop, they were they, they were going to work together. Um, I created a secret group. I call it 270. You don't know. You can't find it. You get it's invitation only. And only 270 people can be in the group. And everybody is in there. Is um, you have to um, promise you keep everything a secret. It's in that group. Like mm-hmm. a lot of the scoops that I have verified years later, I I, I erase the 270 label on it. The name of the group. And I have a time a receipt of each of those scoops when they were dropped, mm. um, and they were dropped in the 270. Dan is a member; he's actually administrator of of that secret group. And I was secretly bombing stuff before any of you guys knew who I was. Dan was there, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> and so I named the um, the group of 270. That's not that's not, that's not the group's actual Facebook name, but it's the name of of us as a, as an organization. Uh, Kind of like I, I always call myself a troublemaker, which everybody knows I'm a troublemaker now, but back then no one knew. Um, I named the group 270. That was my hospital room number when oh. I was nine years old, and I, I, my spleen was taken out, and I almost died. Actually, I did die for a couple of minutes, but the doctors revived me, and oh. so I named the group of 270 because it brought me back to life. Um, Anyway, I'm mentioning this because still, later today, I'm going to invite you to that secret group. You will awesome. now be part of the 270, and you can look back and all the scoops that I secretly bombed That's a long nuts. time ago. So, you know, welcome you aboard to the 270. I'm, I'm in the secret society as of today. Yeah, as of today. <laughs> so. Awesome, awesome. Of course, no, the problem is. 
you have to wait till after the broadcast for us to show you the secret handshake, which nobody ever gets to use. <laughs> yeah, exactly right. Drink totally. from like a, a skeleton chalice. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you, you remember that scene in Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom? Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, kind of the yeah. initiation, all right? It's sort go. of like that, right? Albert? I still have nightmares. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan, like like Mikey mentioned, Dan, you. You've known Mikey Sutton for you know for uh, you know, a handful of years or more, right? Um, mm -hmm. And Mikey is like this. Uh, he's been this mythical figure in the in the geek world, Dan, because you had the Spider Man story, you had the Civil War story, first off, yeah. yeah. Um, and then you had the the Tom Holland's not leaving MCU story. Yeah, that was and, my, my Spider yeah, fan. <laughs> that's, that's been like the huge story. That's why I kind of heard of Mikey. And then he even did the Snyder Cut after Dan. The whole time you kind of known him. Yep. Um, and the main question I get about Mikey is like, <laughs> oh, is, you know, is this is this really legit? Like, is this this guy, Mikey? <laughs> is he really connected? What's going on? Just your experience, Dan. Like, I guess when did you know? Like, oh, like oh shit, like Mikey knows people. <laughs> you know, honestly, I think really when um, when we first started to interact on Facebook and I was yeah. kind of looking through friends and I saw that we had, you know, several mutual friends in the comic industry and, you know, and, and Mikey knows this. I mean, I've said, yeah. you know, initially I was skeptical. I'm like, yeah. you know, really, how do you know this stuff? I mean, <laughs> and then all of a sudden, you know, shit got real. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 yeah. Say, hey, this is going to happen. You need to watch this. And it did. And then he'd say, you know, I got a line on X, Y, or Z, and then it <laughs> happened. But when he dropped, when he dropped Disney and Foxville, yeah, I mean, it was that was that was the hot topic for gosh, what two years? Yes. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, and you know, and we kept waiting and waiting and waiting. And I mean, you know, and and Mikey and I, we have talked outside of Facebook and off of social media. I mean, he's got yeah. my phone number. I've got his. We yeah. email back and forth. You know, we've we've had long mm -hmm. conversations. Yeah. And one of the things I remember one time, he sent me an email. He says, you know, I know uh, I know some of the stuff, man. You, you probably got to be questioning the legitimacy here. <laughs> and I'm like, well, you know, I mean, you're hitting it so far right now. You're, you're, you got a better batting average than most baseball players do. <laughs> and, you know, and he sent me a, he sent me an email with some documents from his, uh, his association with Disney, I guess is the best way to put it. Yeah. And uh, I was just really floored. And there were names in there that I recognized that I knew that, you know, they were going back and forth. And of course, you know, you, you take a little bit of grain of salt, but then all of a sudden mm -hmm. I start seeing these same things, same things pop up on Facebook <laughs> away from our group, unassociated <laughs> with him. Uh, and I thought, all right, this guy's, this guy's <laughs> the it. And then I thought, thank you. Why the heck is he friending me, man? I don't know. <laughs> crap, you know? But, um, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, I, uh, it's been, it's just been it's such been an awesome ride and to see the success of the website and the way it's taken off. I mean, yeah. you know, to have a forum, to be able to write toy reviews. I mean, let's face it. I'm a 50 year old geek, Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I can yeah, afford I to do. buy the stuff I wanted as a kid, you know, yeah. and, uh, right, and right. that, it's just awesome. Awesome, yeah, and like it's really cool. You, like, like, I said, like I said, connecting with you, yeah, Socks is awesome on Facebook. Oh, and, yeah, love Socks. Um, he follows anything Mikey does, and um, yeah, and like with Dan, like it was really cool to connect with you because like you probably saw me and Mikey collaborate more and uh, mm -hmm. meet more people like you and like uh, PCM and TiVo and people that's known Mikey. Uh, because I did my research as well, I was like, oh, I was like, no, Mikey's pretty legit, right. Mm -hmm. I don't just get behind anything. Like I kind of put my my channel behind it, right? I was like, "Hey, Mikey's pretty legit, y'all." Uh, with my with my viewer base, right? And so, Dan, you're you're another person that kind of can uh, attest to that. Uh, your experience with Mikey, it's oh, uh, yeah. it's been pretty uh, pretty legit. Uh, it's awesome. When forward. he dropped that Spidey in Civil War, man, I was uh, <laughs> I was, I, was like, I, I remember I said to him, I sent him a message. Actually, it, it was right in our group. Yeah. I'm like, 
So help me, my God, if you're lying about this, I will. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said, people don't know. Like, so, Dan, I have a huge DC uh, viewer base, right? Because we connect on social media and all that stuff. And like, anytime Mikey says anything about Zack Snyder or DC, I was like, my, like Mikey, like off air, right? I'm like, Mikey, this got to be good, right? This got to be right. I cannot, I cannot go live and say this if you're not confident you know, but it's the same with you, uh, Dan. You're like, dude, like, this is what I want to hear, but I hope it's right. <laughs> well, you do know that I, and I, and I'm sorry. I know, I know that we've got another mystery box coming up, but I, I have to blow the lid off of it. Oh, good. They're doing a whole Amber Heard verse. Yeah. It's going to be like Mira and the Suicide there you go. Squad. There you go. Good night, everybody. Good night. Mira and the Legion of Superheroes. <laughs> Mira's going to team up with Supergirl. I mean, they're going to do a whole wave of figures. Mira's going to take over Themyscira. You, you know, the whole nine yards, man. It's all Let's Amber all the time. Let's get more Mira figures on that, on that, on that, uh, that stage over there and uh, <laughs> I joked with someone before we went live uh Dan and Mikey I was like I think my channel we're gonna go to the Amber verse I was like I'm gonna do more Amber Heard coverage like, like who needs Snyder when you got Amber <laughs> we, yeah. got, we got we got wave no <laughs> we're gonna have a Amber Heard figure next to attorney death figure right <laughs> I, I think if I do that, I'm gonna make sure that I get uh, like his. Um, oh my gosh, why am I blanking now on, oh, on the the barber character? Uh, yeah, uh, the that Johnny Depp movie uh, where he's kind of like that sadistic barber. That's his name. Oh, oh, oh God, Sweeney Todd. Yes, yeah, Sweeney Todd. I'll get an Amber Heard and I'll put it next to Sweeney Todd and we'll let him battle oh, it out. That'd be hilarious. Hello, we got okay. Let me calm my viewers down. Dan was just joking about the Amber <laughs> uh, cover. <I> know. <laughs> yes, joke, yes. Right? The Amber, okay. the Amber verse was just a joke. I don't know shit joke. about movies. Good. I do. <laughs> you, you, joke, you never know with Hamada, man. You still know. <laughs> I, uh, they still get it, but Dan was just playing. Don't blame Dan if you do see this happen. But I appreciate Dan coming through. Definitely hang out with us for the rest of the show as long as yeah, you can. Yeah, Dan, hang out. Hey, I got, I got plenty of free time. My cool, wife has cool. to work late tonight, and there's nothing I like better than kicking back in the geek tower. There we go. Yeah, we, we should go. have you here more often, too. Yeah. Those, those, those toys are awesome. Like, whenever you get a new toy, you know? Yeah. Hey, I'll tell you what. I don't, mind, I don't mind coming on it's being a, a weekly, a a weekly staple. I'm, after yeah. 4.30 Eastern time, I'm free. So oh, that's, that's fantastic. Cool, it's cool. Wait, let's do that. We can get like a new, yeah, like Mikey said, we can get like a new figurine. Like, let's, yeah. let's get you on here and... Well, well I'll tell you what, guys. Yeah, I want to, I want to send you an Amber Heard toy just for the hell of it. <laughs> Let's hey, do I'll it. Take it, right? I like that. I like <laughs> the Nightmare Mirror. I, I, <laughs> hey, I, I don't know if people are mad about that. I like the Nightmare Mirror outfit. I want a toy of that. Like, seriously. Right, I actually, well, yeah. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. I've got a lot of stuff on pre-order that's going to start dropping in August if, you know, if, uh, if Big Bad yeah. Toy Store. Yes, I am pimping Big Bad Toy Store. You'll see them in my reviews. I buy a lot of stuff from them, guys, and yeah. I'll tell you what. That's awesome. They're fantastic. I get can I share a quick story. Yeah, sure. Cool. Yeah, go ahead. So as I was talking about the, the Moffax Dark Knight Returns figures, right? So I got the black caped Batman and everything, and I loved it. It is it is bar none my favorite Batman figure now. Well, they've got the follow-up to it with the blue cloak and, and and cowl and everything, and it's all ripped up. It's all pretty much after he gets his ass handed to him by the mutant leader. The problem though is it's the wrong costume for that design. Because when he fights the mutant leader, he still has the yellow oval around the bat. Oh. All of the damage to that costume corresponds to this figure. So anyway, I ordered this figure from, from Big Bad Toy Store. And um, spoiler alert, FedEx sucks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they don't deliver on time, and no, your stuff no. gets mushed. I got my figure, and my box was accordion. Oh. Now I kind of freaked out because that was a hundred and five dollar figure, you know. And unlike the Marvel Legends stuff where I toss the box, all of my Moffex, all of my SH figure arts, those boxes stay because I keep all the accessories in them. So I tear open the box. Thankfully, the Batman figure himself was uh, was bubble wrapped, but the top of the box there were some creases in it, and I wasn't happy about this. So I actually took pictures of it, 
sent an email to BBTS customer service. I got a reply back literally within two minutes and a phone number to call. So I called them. I'm on the phone with the guy. They're offering to send me a new one if I want to send that one back. And I said, you know, I waited four days longer than I anticipated to get it. I love the figure. He's not damaged. I'm going to keep him. And I think I can flatten the box. So we're talking back and forth. And I tell the guy, you know, hey, uh, I plug you guys in my reviews. He goes, your reviews? And I said, yeah. I said, I write action figure reviews on geekositymag.com. He goes, no way. That is so cool. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> so I send him the link. Now, mind you, I'm just talking to customer service rep. You know, I'm not talking to the owner company or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> I send it out to him, you know. And uh, I, I can't remember what review dropped. It might have even been that Batman review that dropped I emailed them to that, right? And a couple of days later, and I forwarded it to Mikey. I sent him a screenshot of it. They replied back. They were, they love the fact that I'm, I'm pimping them in my reviews. And they hooked me up with a $15 credit on my next purchase. That's awesome. Ooh. Like, you know, and, and so I replied back and I said, you know, hey, guys, um, I understand that there's a lot of reviewers out there that support you. And I know, you know, there's a lot bigger names than me. I mean, I'm, I'm just a guy that writes a little column on a website and you've got all these guys on YouTube. I'm actually thinking about, you know, restarting my channel, but uh, mm -hmm. I just didn't have the opportunity or the time yet to get back into it. But anyway, sure, yeah. you know, at any rate, I said to him, we really love to advertise your stuff because, you know, you, you have top quality. And aside from this hiccup with FedEx, most of the packaging that I get arrives in fantastic shape. I said, you know, if uh, if you guys ever want to work out something to where maybe you kick a toy my way once in a while, I said, we'll we'll keep propping you up with free advertising. I said, in fact, our algorithms have picked them up. And when you go into the toy box, there's a very good chance you're going to see a Big Bad Toy Store ad on our page. Yeah. So, uh, so they replied back. And the name that came back, I think, was the owner. And he says, you know, this is something that we could consider. We'll keep a watch and see how your how your reviews do. So, <laughs> it, you know, guys out there, stop on the page because the more views we get on our page, whether it's my reviews or the scoops <laughs> or anything, uh, you know, the better it looks yeah. for us and the better content we can deliver for you. And you know, exactly. hey, you, you might be helping me get free toys, and so I will look it forever. Say so, so Dan's Dan's telling you right now. You got cmag.com. Check out his tour reviews. The more y'all check it out, hey, we may get more reviews on this channel, you know, or his own channel. Uh, you know, if he starts that back up, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, it's get. all pop culture here toys, movies, yeah. comics are all you know, they're all related to each other, you know. Awesome, awesome. So, we've been yeah. keeping keeping an eye on the uh, on the likes. We're getting close to 90 likes, we're very close. Keep the likes going, people. Our, yeah. our threshold, let's Should I, uh, spice the spice the punch here. Okay, it's okay. a DC scoop that's waiting for you guys to unlock the box. Yeah, to see my Ooh. viewers should know, right, Mike? You, you <laughs> know they're gonna get you're gonna give them something DC related. Yeah, like, yeah. Well, and I, mean, I should have tipped it off. There you go. <laughs> see, Dan has a, a big spoiler there right there. Come on. But before we, we get, get to hundred right? looks, and I'll let Syl rub my melon. <laughs> <laughs> if, if I want to, no, but, no, but, no, but, but, that'll be members only, though. <laughs> <laughs> As we transition, right, Mikey, you did throw an obscure title out there. Yeah. As we was talking about the Transformers. We got the Rise of the Beast coming out, Transformers Seven. Yeah, um, we've been hearing some. I've been hearing some cool things about this film, right? The director mm -hmm. of of the Creed sequel is doing this film. Yeah, he has a pretty solid cast. Uh, what have you been hearing, Mikey, about about Transformers? Well, you know me, so I dare to be different, and uh, <laughs> if I'm bringing some Transformers to the table, it'll be an exclusive to the Mystery Box. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, nice. yeah. <laughs> okay, keep the likes going, people. Keep the likes going. So um, we're waiting for the mission press for the Transformers. No, we're not going to do it right. Oh, uh, right. yeah, gotcha, gotcha. So, so here's the thing. Um, about a few months ago, look, I have a hard time keeping track of time these days. I don't know when I drop them. Uh, I dropped them before, um, maybe a year ago. So I said that Hasbro wanted to do a GI Joe versus Transformers. Um, basically, you have a Hasbro cinematic universe. That's something that's been off and on. They're planning stages for a while now. And the last I heard that it was a solid go. They were going to do 
G.I. Joe Transformers team up or versus whatever, however you want to call it. Mm -hmm. um, at the time, um, it was going to be a, a single film, G.I. Joe versus Transformers. I am hearing now it will be a series of movies that they want to mm -hmm. do, like G.I. Joe with the Transformers. They're going to fight at first, and then they're going to collaborate against other foes. Now, what I'm like hearing, yeah, but. exactly. <laughs> um, so what I'm hearing is that they're going to build the Hasbro Cinematic Universe throughout this series. They're going to add other Hasbro properties um, as the series goes on. So we go, we're going to see Mask. Uh, if you guys are Ooh. fond of the 80s cartoon or toy line, I'm All sure right. Dan has fond memories of of Mask. Yeah, so one of these good. totes I actually have <laughs> the car, the Camaro. We do. Yeah, yeah. what's it, the Thunderhawk? And I think it was. Visionaries is another that they're planning on, including so. What you're seeing mm -hmm. right now, um, they're starting to um, rebuild Transformers. Now they Bumblebee really, the, that post Michael Bay era. Um, even though Michael Bay is listed as producer, you know, he has nothing to do with these movies anymore. He's gone. Okay. Okay. He's gone. Bay is gone. Don't worry he's about. Just, he's just listed. As, he's just listed as royalties you know. or something. Yeah, right? yeah. It's, it's one of those things that your name's on it. You get royalty, but you don't. You don't do. You don't do shit. So I this kind of answers what Wave says right here, uh, Mikey. Yeah. This is not the Bay verse. No, there really <laughs> is no. Kind of show that though. Bumblebee. Kind yeah, of yeah. That. No, there's really no Bay verse anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they pretty much have that put that behind them. Um, but you are going to see J. Joe versus Transformers as a series of films. Again, mm. probably, a, I, I want to say trilogy, but, you know, Paramount doesn't work that way. You just, you just keep seeing movies. I mean, mm. like, look at Transformers. That wasn't a trilogy. Like, it made a billion, let's make more. Another billion, then they make another one. Yeah, yeah. it was like, it wasn't even about three or yeah, I don't know how many. Yeah. <laughs> so, Mikey, do you think that they're going to use the upcoming Snake Eyes origin movie as kind of a launch point or a feeler? I don't think a launch point, but that that will be involved um, in this franchise. It's set in that universe. So, really? Yeah. I'm I'm like underwhelmed right now with the Snake Eyes. I, I mean, maybe I'm I don't know if everybody else is. I, I'm not blown away yet with the Snake yeah, Eyes. Yeah, I'm not either. Pointed. I'm not either. But honestly, mm. I'm not either. So. Mm. Well, we'll see. Just, we'll see where it goes. They, it it could be a he could surprise us, right? Now, yeah. Larry Hama liked the movie, so that's true. Was, he that's did true. like he it. Is, he, he is he getting the check too, but uh, but uh, <laughs> 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 two Canadian super chat. I've wanted the GI Joe Transforms collaboration. So that's coming, Mikey. Yeah. According yeah. to what you're hearing, you're gonna that's yeah, coming. you're gonna see more than one film. It's gonna it's gonna be a, a continuous uh, series of movies, and you're gonna see other Hasbro properties go in there. Visionaries, if any visionaries fans out there, um, kind of more obscure. Uh, but you know what? But Dan, you know what really excites me, Dan, is seeing the Micronauts. I'm gonna lose my shit, man. Yes. Now, do you yes. see Baron Carza? Oh, dude. Now I'm, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> that'd be nuts that'd be nuts right so real quick uh the uh the chat and even the youtube they're showing me yeah. we got 100 likes so we'll hit that one time but before we get to the 100 likes uh, we did yeah. advertise Kingdom yeah. Come. Uh, yeah. you, I, this is one thing, Mikey, when uh, usually when we started, we we're creating a show for the next day. Mikey said, hey, put this on the thumbnail, right? He said, put Kingdom Come Superman on the thumbnail. I have no idea what's going to happen right now. So, Mikey, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, to some of you out there, you might want to get some bourbon ready. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. oh, hold on, hold on. Before we <laughs> do that, what time? What time? Bourbon talk. Wait now, a minute. Now, now, <laughs> bourbon... <laughs> plot twist. Plot twist. Whoa. Quick <laughs> silver and rough motor. Sorry. You never know. You never know here. <laughs> yeah, Yovic, you ready? All right. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. 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 Go <laughs> 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 
<laughs> you talking about the Fontas. Oh my God. Let's, let's address this real quick. TJ, the final Canadian Super Chat. Optimus Primal coming. Yes, the, the Beast Wars, right? Uh, the Beast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Mike, have you heard the same? I heard that Optimus Primal is coming yeah, for this yeah. Transformers film, so yeah. exciting. Uh, Kingdom Come broke his heart. So what, what are we... Well, what are we okay, talking? look. <laughs> Guys, it could be worse, okay? Oh, my God. When Mike <laughs> says that, oh, my God. <laughs> depending, depending on your perspective, this could either be fantastic news or... <laughs> Or reach out for the bourbon, okay? Now, <clears throat> I know it's divided by probably 50 50. Well, it's probably worse than that. But, okay, here's the deal with Kingdom Come, okay? Oh, man. Jim Lee would love to get this film made. I mean, he just, well, he's one of the people, uh, Jeff Johns, he's one of the also, one of the ones at Warner that, that would love to get mm -hmm. this film made. Mm -hmm. But, DC Films has been sitting on this for a while now. Um, Walter Hamada has been sitting on it. It's it's expensive. It's going to be an expensive film. Um, and they've just been, you know, like Kevin Foggy by now would have had a game plan for this like years ago, right? Yes. You're like this is how we this is how we get the Kingdom Come. And and so, but. DC films more like no kingdom no, <laughs> so, <laughs> it's 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 a pipe dream. For oh them. my god! And so apparently they don't want to move forward with a Kingdom Come movie. Um, it's expensive. Um, Walter Hamada doesn't know how to to pull this together. Okay, and then he would have to incorporate some Snyder versus stuff, and you know. And he's thinking of expensive contracts, so on and so forth. So, some of you will know where this is headed, okay? <laughs> and and I'm already grabbing for the bourbon as I talk. Now, personally, I'm happy about this. I think you and Dan might be happy about it. But All I know is my liquor cabinet's not up here. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> but real quick, Mike, you do have the, the DC mystery box after. After this, yes. Cover. Okay. So, so, make, so we'll make it clear. Like, yeah, it's good so, news probably after this. Yeah, so if you're hungover <laughs> after this, don't worry. Take a well, shot now. Al and then, Alka yeah. Seltzer on the way, okay? Yeah. I, guess, I, know Sil's, I know Sil's crowd. See, I, I, if I put this on the site, I wouldn't have to, to, to gauge the temperature because there's – all sorts of people are reading, but I know still an audience, our audience now. I'm like, wait, um, come on up. So, so, <laughs> so one, one, man, one man's um, too expensive of, of a toy is another man's, I'm going to buy it now, okay? Um, mm. So Hamada said no, but guess who said yes and he wants to do it? Greg Berlanti is going to... It was on CW, right, Mike? Yep, yep. You had the K Kingdom Come Superman. Okay, uh, okay. But he wants to adapt the comic. Okay. Of course, there'll be tweaks, and I don't know uh, how much tweakiness will, will happen. This is a series uh, then, right, Mikey? Or a, a, a lower scale from a theatrical film? Well, what Greg Berlanti wants to do is to... Uh, adapt this for HBO Max to give it the budget that it deserves. Okay, mm -hmm. um, whether or not he'll get the money for that, I don't know. Um, there has been talk of incorporating Stephen Amell's Arrow into the Kingdom Come, um, mm. like like the older Arrow, um, and knowing Greg Berlanti, um, he's going to use different parts of the multiverse for this. Right. Um, so it's going to be some tweaking here and there. No, it hasn't been green green lit yet. Mm -hmm. um, so, but the thing is, he has permission to do it. I mean, what I mean is, there's not going to be a theatrical version of this movie coming anytime soon. We got you. So he can do it. Um, so if you're going to see Kingdom Come in the next couple of years, it's probably going to be from Greg Berlanti. And I know some of you are very disappointed in that. Um, right. But... Yeah, Berlanti. Uh, you said HBO Max, right? That's what he prefers because mm -hmm. they can get the money uh, for a Kingdom Come miniseries for that. Well, 
for Brandon Ralph. Have you, have you heard anything with him being a part of this? Most likely it, he'll be a part of this. Because yeah. Berlanti used him for CW, yeah, he right? Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good setup for a series. I think he would get – he won't get, like, Green Lantern money for yeah. Kingdom Come, but – I think he can do a pretty decent budget. Yeah. If Brandon Ralph is there, no, uh, yeah. I'm I'm looking forward to this. Cause, you know, I like Greg Berlanti, but I know there are a number of you out there that really can't <laughs> stomach the idea of him doing Kingdom Come. So, but blame on Hamada, dude, because that guy just you know. So this he is wants like, to do a Mera series, a movie stuff. Is, Kingdom Come, which, this could have. <laughs> Yeah, this could have been a theatrical film, right? Like they could yeah. have done that Kingdom well, Come yeah. with yeah. the Batman, with uh, you know, everything, but yeah, they scaled it they down. They could have done a Michael Keaton Kingdom, Kingdom Come movie, okay? Let's just oh put my, it that way. Oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, because <laughs> that would have been dope. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, I know that would have been, I mean, <laughs> but they, um. It's too expensive, um, you know. That's price is one thing, and um, and they they like they just don't know how to do it, dude. They just don't know how to put a project as big as this together. Um, as we saw with Justice League, they're pretty much clueless over there. Dan and I have spoken in length about how DC works and doesn't work for years and years now. Right. Um, in fact, Zach, I mean, Dan knew that Zach was going to get fired. I told them years and years ago, Zach's going to get fired. Yep. And, and unfortunately, they used the unfortunately, really sad the tragedy tragedy yeah. as a smokescreen, which I thought was so tasteless yep. for Warner to do. But hey, you know what? That's how they that's how they roll, man. It's just terrible. We kind of liken DC executives to monkeys in cages. They fling yeah, through yeah. whatever sticks they go with. Yeah. <laughs> TJ with a two dollar Canadian super chat. Says, People have been asking for this. The kingdom come. I'll yeah. take it. I will take. I will take if Brandon Ralph is there because they set it up on CW Crisis. I will take a Brandon Ralph Kingdom Come series. I'll take it. I'll well, take so it. Even if they even if they don't get get Green Lantern money, that's okay because Green Lantern didn't get Green Lantern money. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know seriously. You know, and, and secret secret moment of transparency, and this is where all of the viewers suddenly just drop off and say these guys are idiots. You know? <laughs> and, and I won't speak for Mikey, even though I know that's his that, feelings on it. Show. I actually enjoyed Green Lantern. <laughs> just yeah. transparency. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Exactly. I, yeah, you should have told me before the show. No, it's fine now. But uh <laughs> <laughs> good. Note to self, Dan's toy box is never permitted on again. Ever. Dan, 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 Dan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but uh so hey, now, Mikey... down there. I have Ryan Reynolds as a Green Lantern. He's really he's in the awesome. mess down here. Well, he's a big yeah. yeah, that's a collectible worthy, actually. Ryan Reynolds, Green Lantern. That's nice to have just as a you know momentum, right? Man, yeah, but, you know, uh, I don't have that. I have a Hal Jordan Green Lantern toy. Uh, that uh, Ryan Reynolds uh, That Ryan Reynolds. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah, that's not, let's see. Let me, let me blow they this up real quick. Sign it. <laughs> that's for, that's Ryan Reynolds right maybe, there. Maybe the best thing to do would be to pose him next to uh, next to Deadpool. Yes, yes. You know, that. That'd be perfect. <laughs> <laughs> A resident toy guy. I can uh, <laughs> I can have the Reynolds boys. Look at that. There you Look go. At that. Multiverse. That that <laughs> oh man. Awesome. It's awesome. There's my mystery box bomb. <laughs> is it, is it, <laughs> there we go. Is it really? <laughs> no, but, uh, <laughs> so DC uh, versus Marvel crossover. Ryan Reynolds in every role. <laughs> uh, I would watch that though. I would actually watch that. I want to answer CJ Sword Punk here. Uh, there we go. Before I get to, yeah, he is. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's he's producing. Um... He's producing. Though he's not directing, but his ideas are bad. So I, I, <laughs> I dance. So I, for JJ Abrams, definitely dark. I'm hearing they want to make Spectre a woman. So so like like Lady Spectre. <laughs> <laughs> it's like why you know, <laughs> like why. Why so you have Black this? Constantine and what, the female Doctor Fate, which actually is from the comic books. There's a female Doctor Fate. Yeah. yeah, but so. basically, Constantine is not going to be Constantine. 
yeah. is basically all indications. So it's like, okay, yeah, it's just, yeah. why do that character if you're not going to be Constantine? It's my, it's my, and in, in, environmentally created Swamp Thing, you know, from uh, no, that's just that's with a Toxic Avenger, more, more bourbon, more bourbon. Let's uh. <laughs> Let's cheer up. Right. Let's cheer up the crowd here, yeah, Mike. We, we let's cheer up the, the crowd. Let's Put the bourbon away, guys. We've we got have a, <laughs> we have a DC <laughs> specific mystery box they want to give the viewers that all of y'all that hung on to this point, Mikey. What, what do we have? <laughs> yeah. So, man, they are talking Justice League quite a bit lately. I've been hearing, yeah, yeah. which is very fascinating because um, they don't like mentioning the words. Zack Snyder. You know, they don't like mm-hmm. But at the same time, <clears throat> you, know, they had, you know, because, you know, Lava Man is taking over, Discovery is taking over, but, you know, you know, so, like Disney, like Fox, I mean, they have to continue to proceed like nothing's happening, right? They have to continue working mm-hmm. as normal because... Right, business as usual, yeah. Yeah, as usual because, you know, the merger hasn't gone through yet. It's still going to be a, a year away. Mm-hmm. So they gotta start planning, uh, you know. Gotta continue planning. So, so what I'm hearing is that um, they do want to do a Justice League sequel. Now, here's the thing: JG doesn't want to do it. Right. Abram does not want to direct a Justice League film that um, alternate universe Justice League that I had before. Um, Looks like I'm pretty much a shelf now, because uh, JG doesn't want to do it all. Um, so what I've been hearing lately is what characters they're going to use for the Justice League sequel. And what's interesting still is that there's no mention of Snyder, but that there's a, there's an elephant in the room, okay? Mm-hmm. Because. They really want Martian Manhunter to play an important role in the Justice League sequel. Hmm. But there's no mention of Snyder, which I find very odd. That is odd, yeah. That's so, odd. from insiders I've spoken to, um, you know, um, Lava Man, I, that's, that's what I call him, Dad. That's my nickname. I can't, I can't pronounce his name. Zazzle, his, yeah. Zazzle. Zazzle. <laughs> yeah, I forget. See, and so I just call him Lava Man. Um, <laughs> insiders I've spoken to said that the chances of Lava Man greenlighting or whoever is in charge of DC films at a the time, there's going to be a Justice League sequel. Okay? Mm-hmm. It's definitely definitely going to happen mm-hmm. um, because Marvel's going to put out another Avengers film and you know shareholders going to be like what the fuck man where, where, where's, where's, our, where's our DC super where's team group up? Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly up. exactly <laughs> you know um, so I'm hearing that Martian Manhunter will play an important role um but they want Martian Manhunter to be in this Justice League film. And where, where did he appear? He appeared in Snyder Cut. Yeah, that's the only place. Yeah. Yeah. So sources tell me the only way for this to go forward, really, if um, you want to have Martian, Man, Martian Manhunter in it, is to have Zack do the sequel. It's just a no-brainer. Yeah. It is a no-brainer. It's all lining up to that. It's all lining up to that. Happen. It's lining up. To, mm-hmm. Basically, the stars are aligning for Zach to come back, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and I'm a hundred percent sure, just from everybody I've spoken to, <clears throat> that Zach will be directing. No, a hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. You can put me on tape. Tape. Can I get a? Know. Can I get a ninety percent? Let me just no, say no, a hundred percent. Unless Zach turns it down, which I don't see happening. <laughs> right, uh, right. I know he's getting busy lately, um, but oh, Zach even said like, "Hey, if you if they ask me to do more, he's like, I, obviously I would do more." Yeah, so, obviously. Zach's yeah. on record saying that. Yeah, but I just find it funny that they're saying that they feel that there's so much potential with Martian Manhunter, and including him in the Justice League film because there are kids who grew up on Martian Manhunter on the JL cartoon. Mm-hmm. That's that's what 
that's the Justice League they grew up on, yep. right? And so they want to see Martian Manhunter in the Justice League because they're looking at you know characters they can merchandise. You're just all it's all money driven, dude. Yeah, the toys and yeah, all yeah. That stuff. Yep. So and they want to use a Martian Manhunter for the Snyder Cut. Hmm. So, because hey, I mean that's the only like it's just like with Dark Side, right? If you want Dark yeah. Side, well, hey, it was only in yeah. a Snyder Cut, yeah. <laughs> you know. So and, mm. and you know, I mean, like uh, everything is pointing towards the, the restoration of the Snyderverse. Um, you're gonna have Dark Side references in Black Adam, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so you know it's really pointing towards the obvious. No, you know, it, it's not enough for like I like I say, uh uh Mikey, with the audience that we get and you know, we got some diehard Snyderverse fans, which I'm among the yeah. diehards now, you know, BVS is a masterpiece, I can fight you about that. Um and so <laughs> when you say the Snyderverse is continuing, we're talking about Zach back in the building, directing yeah. or producing, writing something. Yeah. Uh Lining up to his continuity, you're saying with what they're talking about with the Martian Manhunter and everything going forward, it's lining up for Zach to come back, you know, once the merger is complete, basically. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, there's just only one path to go, right? Right, you know, it makes sense. So, Josh Smith, five dollars super chat, appreciate you, Josh. Says, Hey, love all the scoops. Uh, will Thank Hasbro you. Reverse include Rom Space Knight? Oh, Mikey. What, man, what I tell you, that? man. I have fond memories of Rom. I actually I had a. Do you still have your Rom toy, uh, Dan? I, oh, man. <laughs> no, I'll tell you. Tragedy in sixth grade. Our apartment building burned. Oh, oh, no. I salvaged like 90% of my original Star Wars collection, which is actually not on display up here. I've got it packed yeah. in totes. Yeah. Rom was standing next to my radio controlled Jawa sand crawler. Oh by the no. time things were done, Rom was a puddle next oh, to my sand crawler. Man. That is aside from losing the sand crawler, losing that ROM was, was one of the saddest days of my life. Yeah, uh, yeah, I bet then I lost wow. Rom when I moved from Arizona. I don't know where it's at. Um mm. it, it's long gone, I mean it's um, I remember it used to scare my dog when you hear that little sound that it made. That beep 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 sound is my dog would go scared to death by that thing. <laughs> uh, no, I love the comic book. I bought the comic book off the stands when it first came out. Round number one. I remember I bought it at, at Circle K. I still remember it. Um, Ron will be in the Hasbro verse. He's going to be in he the will. second. Yeah, he will be in the second right. one of the J. Go, Josh. Transformers. So Ron is coming. He will be there. TJ with the two dollar Canadian super giant again. As as we round this out. Any last minute comments or questions for yeah. Mikey or, or even for Dan? If you want a specific toy that you want Dan to go and and find, as there well, you man, go. Perfect. Throw that's in the chat as well, right? So, uh, but as TJ, as TJ says, <laughs> well, uh, this film, uh, Mikey, that they're developing, this is Justice League 2, but you haven't heard of Zack Snyder connected to it yet. Is no, that not yet, like? but I can say here exclusively. That when Discovery takes over, it'll be called Zack Snyder's Justice League Two. The people ain't ready for that, Mikey. I'm just gonna let I you know they're right not ready now. for that. They're, they're, not, they're not ready for that. We'll talk to us next year if you're questioning that, right? So <laughs> TJ with the with the two dollar Canadian super chat. Does Inner Gang is involved in Black Adam? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. TJ has been. Uh, that's another person, uh, Mikey, on Twitter. He's very active. He shares anything that you put out, Mikey. Very cool guy. Dark side yeah. apocalypse, new apocalypse technology. Um, it's look. I know it's a difficult <laughs> time right now for for Snyder fans, but it's getting better. It's yeah, getting better. Well, Mikey, what do I say all the time? Right, we needed a seismic event to yeah. change the leadership. Even Ray Fisher said this. Yeah, months yeah. ago, and we. Got the seismic event where Discovery's coming in to take over Warner Media, which includes DC. Yeah, mm-hmm. we got it. So, hey, let's. I'm gonna hope for the best until they show me they want to do another Josh Whedon Justice League film. Then, then I'll, I'll be all uh, aboard ship at that point. 
Uh, and so, so, something had to break, right? Something had to break. Yeah, exactly. Like Sox says here, Rom is coming. People are excited about that, right? Uh, Rom tied to Transformers. Yeah. Uh, cool stuff. Cool stuff. So, like I say, uh, as Zeus says, we've been saying this for months, Mikey. Break by break. It's and it's come funny back. because brick by brick, we didn't know what the, what the bricks were back then, right? <laughs> we, just, we just knew brick by brick. Well, the rock was it's funny because the rock of all what was the brick at first, right? Um, yeah. Until until Lava Man is going to pour Pompeo all over Sar Sar <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> and Amada and that's wild. That's wild. So I'm gonna give everybody a, a few moments to. So your last minute again, comments and questions. So uh, as far as with uh, you know the pop culture, Black Widow is coming out tomorrow, right? I'm watching uh, it tonight. Yeah, you're I'm watching like, it tonight, Dan. Are yeah. you gonna you gonna check it out this weekend? Going this weekend. That's the plan, anyhow. The wife and I got oh. a date night planned for Saturday. All right, awesome, oh, awesome, definitely. I'm going to go to Black Widow in the same week, man. That, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely going to theaters Hunters. for this. Uh, because I know it has a Disney Plus premiere option, but my theaters are open, so I'm going to theaters. Uh, for, same uh, for here, Black yeah. You can't you definitely. can't watch a Marvel movie without a bucket of popcorn, exactly. Exactly. It, I did like what a, Zeus said in here earlier about a bourbon shot for a toy related story. <laughs> <laughs> Zeus, possible. if you're pouring, I'll share. <laughs> <laughs> so, we got TJ, uh, two dollar Canadian super chat. You saw Ray uh, Fisher's tweet. About Emmerich and Ice Cube, Mikey. He was I'm talking on, about I'm on Twitter. So what's what's that? So basically, uh, Ice Cube has been speaking out against Warner Brothers because they have the uh, the rights to the the Friday franchise, right? He's done yeah. films with Chris Tucker, John Witherspoon, their late great John Witherspoon. He tried to get a final film before John Witherspoon untimely passing, um, and Warner Brothers was denying it. And now he's saying that basically they've been kind of pushing back on his franchise, which has been successful relatively for the oh, budget, yeah. you mm -hmm. know. Um, and Ray Fisher tweeted out to Ice Cube and says, hey, like, that sounds like the, the same, you know, racial pushback that Toby Emmerich's been doing, you know, mm -hmm. towards him and the Justice League investigation. So um, maybe once you see that tweet, Mikey, maybe we'll talk more about that. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, with that. But I mean, hey, Ice Cube and Friday, come on now. Ice Cube, Chris Tucker... John Witherspoon, he got Mike Epps in there after the fact. Like, why wouldn't you do a low budget comedy film? But Warner Bros. has been pushing back. It, it makes no that, sense. That's just crazy. That's just more insanity and, from Warner. Ice Cube is such a businessman. Like, why are you pushing back against what he's developing? It makes no well, sense. Well, Sil, all you got to do is crack open a dictionary. And right next to Moronic, you see a picture <laughs> of the Warner Brothers logo. I mean, there you go. There you go. Well, I could. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that the crew that's watching right now and the three of us, we could probably put together a DC movie oh, and Warner yeah. Brothers execs would be like, damn, why can't we make a movie like that? <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> I could stop no. motion it for crying out loud. It's, that's, I mean, Dan, like I tell Mikey, I, tell, I follow the money, right? Like if Ice Cube has a franchise that can make money, you know, with a certain, a certain demographic that you want to reach, why aren't you doing that? You know, it just it makes no sense at all, right? So it is what it is. Uh, again, any last minute comments or questions, we'll throw it in the chat real quick, Mikey. Let's uh, let's brief people. We our schedule is ever changing, right, Mikey? Uh, <laughs> so <laughs> just to kind of update but people, he, even I can't keep track of our schedule anymore. <laughs> what the hell is our schedule anyway? Yeah, it changes day by day, right? So <laughs> we can say right now, Mikey. Can we say this Tuesday through yeah. Thursday? Yes, they yes. will see us on YouTube. Yeah, two thirty Pacific time, PM. Yeah, five thirty Eastern Standard Time. Um, of course, yeah. Tuesday is Geek Out City Live, which is all pop culture. Wednesday is Rose Gallery, Hardcore DC. Thursday again, all pop culture. Yeah, uh, and we um starting a new show called Geek Streets. I got you, Mikey. I got you. Oh, there you go. And <laughs> yeah, he, well, he, he he's on it, man. The dude's on it, you know. Uh, so yeah, this is where Sid and I will cover pop culture news and give our colorful commentary on what's going on. Mm -hmm. uh, so so Fridays and Saturdays, uh, starting. Tomorrow, yeah, uh, we'll be doing. Ex expect lots of Amber Heard. No, just kidding. More Amber Heard, but uh, Geek Streets, as we call it, yeah. uh, is more of a, a recap of just the news. Maybe yeah. we'll go more into the 
you know, whatever the, the what ifs or, you know, what Marvel's been doing. Um, yeah. Recapping the news, right? Because Tuesday through Thursday, Mikey's bringing heat, right? And, you know, Dan, oh, you dude, probably yeah. know, like Mikey's bringing like scoops every day. Yeah. We need yeah. Mike to kind of, you know, kind of chill out on the weekends, right? So that's what we're doing. Uh, to quote the inimitable <laughs> Terrell Owens. Get your popcorn ready. <laughs> and there you go. There you go. There we go. There we go. And we so can talk Black Whale box office, right? We can we can talk with the box office for the weekend for that. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's there you go, idea. man. Very you excited know. for what we do. Um Fridays and Saturdays. Again, it's a later time slot. We kind of tested this uh Tuesday, Mikey, yeah. right? Yeah. A later time slot. And this kind of falls better for the weekend. Yeah. So starting tomorrow, Geek Streets, as we call it. Uh, we will do our, our recaps uh, with that. Any last minute comments, uh, Dan? What, what's going on with you? Uh, you say you had some uh, some orders you put out. What are you expecting coming in? Oh for yeah, there you go. And, um, uh, you know, we we'll excited. Looking about at that. Uh, looking sometime in the beginning of August, um, I should have fingers crossed. I should have the uh, Infinity Saga Iron Man Mark eighty five and Thanos two pack coming. Nice. Um, I do have. I know that he's already out, but I ordered through through BBTS. Now, if I happen to wander across it in Wally World or in Tarjay, I'll pick up because you know we don't want to we don't want to give too much credence to those guys. Mm -hmm. But I do have uh, the modular Iron Man on order again. If I find him in the wild, I'm going to scoop him. Right. I've got the uh, Marvel Legends Infinity Saga Thor or Fat Thor as we know and love him. <laughs> he should be coming sometime around September <laughs> along with the uh, the Marvel Legends Retro Collection Webman, you know, the reverse color uh, Spider-Man figure. Oh, I remember sick. as a kid drawing that myself and changing out the costume colors. And then, you know, then we start to hit the big stuff. Third quarter is supposed to be arriving is that Batman Dark Knight Returns 2-pack with, with him and Carrie Kelly. Uh, no way! Wow. Uh, Mayfex, okay. Ben Riley, Spider-Man. I'm looking forward to Ben Riley. Does Ben Riley get enough love, Dan? I don't know if Ben Riley. You know, I'll, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I I had my I had my store when that storyline all came out, and man, my customers, all my comic customers, were super <laughs> polarized. You either loved Ben Riley or you hated Ben Riley. And all I got to say is that boy has a badass costume and this is going to be a sweet figure. So, yeah, yeah. There you, go. you know, <laughs> do they awesome. have a frog Thor figure? They should have a frog Thor figure. Man. They definitely frog should. I, I'd buy one then. Have frog. Uh, yeah, there you go. They got a kick ass frog. <laughs> that's wild. That's wild. Wild. So that's everything Dan has coming up. And again, you know, anytime he has a new figure, we, we, we're going to pull his arm and get him back on this channel. Yeah, let me know, Dan, so I can put yeah. you on the air. Twist hard. Twist hard. Okay. <laughs> there, you <go. laughs> there we go. So Dan will be back. Uh, Thanks, we got Dan. one fan of uh, Ben Rowley in the chat. Yes. <laughs> Very polarizing. I, I like, like, I like uh, sock. <laughs> He's cool. Socks is cool. So, yeah, Mikey, yeah. uh, no, go ahead, Dan. Uh, I was going to say, I appreciate you guys having me in. Thank you, Dan. Uh, um, Love having you here, man. We got to get you by more this time, uh, As time permits itself for me, I'll be able to relaunch the, awesome. uh, the channel. Um, but definitely, you know, check me out. We're dropping we're dropping reviews on, on the webpage weekly. Okay, I send them in the mic. You can disseminate some. Yeah. So uh, you guys have a great night. You Take too, care, Dan. everybody. Thanks again. Enjoy Black awesome. Widow. Take care, buddy. Awesome. awesome. So Dan in the in the, <laughs> on the panel, he will see him more in his toys soon. Uh Mikey, any last Yo. words as we close this out? Well, I guess everybody have a fine Black Widow weekend and uh, enjoy the film. I'm gonna go see it myself. I'm looking forward to it. And actually, you know what? I'm gonna review it on on, on, on a future show. Oh, I'll go. give you my thoughts on Black yeah. Widow and who knows? Hey, did you see Kevin Feige said? That he's not ruling out Scarlett Johansson coming back, and I scooped that months yes. ago, telling you, telling yes, you, she did. she's uh, not done yet. Variant, variant, variant. Black Widow, <laughs> Black Widow sounds like a good. Maybe next week a good Geek Streets review. Geek, uh, exactly, a Geek Streets. Uh, yeah. Like give people a chance to watch it a little yeah. bit, and then uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get all uh, spoilery on you guys. Yeah, so. we, we're gonna definitely yeah, next week. We're spoiling the entire film. Yeah, uh, we'll spoil. We'll, Task we'll tell you the whole plot. Is, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Very excited, Mikey. I think like our schedule is kind of shifting to what we yeah. need it to be. So 
Uh, as I said, me and you, Mike, we talked about just the viewers. You know, we got a yeah. lot of people. You know, different. You know, different areas. Uh, you know, UK, yeah. India, um, and they love the two thirty PST, five thirty. Uh, PM EST slot. Yeah, and I noticed we get to 100 likes quicker at 2.30 as well. I've yeah. Noticed. Yeah, so we'll definitely uh, keep that Tuesday through Thursday, as we yeah. said. Uh, yeah. That'll be our start time. Friday through Saturday will be the later slot, but yeah. that will be uh, the Geek Streets and, uh, you know, recapping. And, and, and I'm just saying, with Geek Streets, when we when we hit 100 likes, I may still convince Mike to you know kind of spill a little something. You know? I'm just saying. I'm saying. You, know, you never know. You never know. I have to get Mike in there, but but appreciate again everyone showing out for this uh, today, <laughs> Mystery Box Day. It's been been real fun. We're really excited with the members, and mm -hmm. Monday we'll have something really cool for for the members only uh, for that as well. So for myself, Sal Abdul, editor in chief, owner of GigasityMag.com, Mikey Sutton. We out of here, y'all. Uh, go watch Mark Widow. We'll talk about it next week.